Hi, my name is Bill Hicks. Today I'm going to show you how to create a wireframe material using the composite method in 3ds Max 2013. Now this method of creating a wireframe material does not work with the default scanline renderer. So for this tutorial, we're going to change the production renderer to Mental Ray. To create the material, we'll open the Material Editor, and we will open the Material Map Browser, and select Composite Material. Since we want to keep the object's original material as the base, we'll go ahead and keep old material as submaterial. Next, we'll add a new standard material above it for the wireframe. We'll change the diffuse color to black. If the object's original material were a dark color, white may be a more appropriate choice. And since we don't want to have any unseen shading or lighting, we'll go ahead and adjust the self-illumination to 100. And then under the shader basic parameters, we'll select wire. You can already see that the change is updated in the viewport. And if we render out the image, our wireframe is overlaid over the object's original base material. And that's how you create a wireframe material using the composite method in 3ds Max 2013.